Happy Sabbath. Happy Yom Teruah, the day of the trumpet sound, marking the end and the celebration of the harvest time. I was able to harvest Fuji apples from my tree, which took seven years to produce them, and they're small, and they have a lot of uh, discoloration on the skin, but they're fresh and healthy, have no chemicals, and they're delicious. Now, I was listening to um, public radio, and they had a recording of, I think it was children singing Amazing Grace, um, honoring uh, Justice Ginsburg who passed away and I've thought this many times whenever there is public mourning on uh, television or the radio they always seem to pick only one song Amazing Grace yes it's a nice song it's a beautiful song but there's so many songs I mean, even if you if you go into a place like Hobby Lobby, they have Christian songs on the speakers. Not that the workers there know that because they're young and they're old, old um, classic uh, Christian songs. Um, things like "Gather Us In," "Gather Us In," the lost and forsaken. Gather us in, the blind and the lame. Call to us now, and we shall awaken. We shall arise at the sound of our name. And of course, there's many other Christian songs. And um, in, in the synagogue and in people's homes, uh, people sing the daily prayers. And the most important thing about religion according to the rabbi from Nazareth was the first commandment that um, the Almighty is one and you worship no other but him so uh, we sing that prayer uh, Shema B'ni Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Ehad. And that means here, O Israel, uh, the Lord, the Almighty, is one. And um, we, uh, we do that twice a day. Uh, it's interesting, in the book of Daniel, it says he prayed on his knees with his window open toward Jerusalem three times a day. Now, in Islam, they have the call to prayer, and um, I, I'm not good at singing that, but uh, I, it's very beautiful because it says, come to prayer, come to prayer. When I was visiting uh, Jerusalem in 2003, I heard church bells frequently. I heard the call to prayer frequently, but I never heard the shofar, which, you know, um, Today's the day of the sound of the shofar, so I, I thought that was um, different. Anyway, um, what other songs? You know the Levites in the temple, uh, they were guards. They baked the bread, the showbread. They were singers, and they played musical instruments and they advised people. If you had a strange rash, you would go to one of the priests and you'd show him and he would tell you if it was, if it was anything that would make you quarantine yourself and if you needed to you know, stay inside to protect others and also if you should not come to the temple because in the temple you're supposed to be clean. Uh, clean of heart, clean of mind, and clean of body. So they had many duties, and um, there are descendants of them, and not all their descendants um, still retain this knowledge of 
of of how special it is to be a descendant of Aaron, the uh, older brother of Moses. Speaking of Moses, um, that movie, The Ten Commandments, with Charlton Heston in it, uh, when they were filming it, um, they filmed it on location. So little Arab uh, children, Muslim children, whenever they saw uh, Charlton Heston, um, getting ready to film or after filming, they'd run after him yelling out, Musa, Musa, Musa. Uh, Musa is how you say Moses in Arabic. Anyway, I just wanted to talk a little about spiritual things since it's a spiritual day. And uh, I wrote a book once, um, something, I'm not sure what title I used, something like 100 Things That Are the Same in the three Abrahamic Semitic religions, which of course are, in order of occurrence, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And believe me, there's a lot more than a hundred things that are, that are the same. So any kind of uh, fighting or prejudice between the three, I mean, it's just, it's just illogical. And I think that we should have three-day weekends. Why? Because the Muslims have a special prayer meeting on Fridays, because the Jews uh, rest on Saturdays, and because the Christians uh, gather together on Sundays. So why shouldn't we have three-day weekends? Think about it. <laughs>